Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Myers. Today I want to tell you about our supplement methylation support. I'm going to hold it up here. And this supplement is for those of you who have one or two mutations at MTHFR. So what is MTHFR? It's a genetic SNP and 50% of the population has one SNP. If you're like me, I have two SNPs. So let's go through what that is. So there are two main, um, I like to just call them spots on the, on the gene. And there is the possibility in each one of those that you can have none, one, or two mutations. So again, I already went over half the population has one mutation. I myself have two mutations at one of the main spots, so it's not very good. And I take this supplement every day. So, and will for the rest of my life based on my genetics. So what does that really mean about MTHFR? Because I get lots of questions about it. Well, this is how I like to describe it in a very rudimentary way that really hits home for people. If you have no mutations and you eat a piece of tuna fish that contains mercury in it, because MTHFR is one of the main uh, pathways that we clear toxins, particularly heavy metals. So if you're eating a piece of tuna fish and it theoretically has 10 parts of mercury in it, if you have no mutations, you eat 10 and you clear 10. If you have one mutation, you eat 10, you keep five, and you get rid of five. If you're like me, I eat 10, I keep nine and I get rid of one. So depending on where your mutations, if you have two at one spot like I do, that's sort of the scenario. If you have one at each spot, then the scenario is that likely you keep about eight and you get rid of two. So you, as you can imagine, people like myself, and if you've heard my story, you know I've been sick with autoimmunity before, and that's probably part of the reason I had high heavy metals. I wasn't really able to detoxify them. So there's nothing we can do about our genetics, but what we can do is override them. And how do we do that? We do that with the cofactors found in methylation support. So this product has very high dosages of uh, 5-methotetrahydrofolate, which is the active form of folate or folic acid. Folic acid is actually synthetic, and there are a lot of research studies out there that high dosages of folic acid can actually uh, promote cancer. So we don't want to be doing that. You want to take the natural forms found in fruits and vegetables, so the 5-methotetrahydrofolate. The Okay, and then there's B vitamins, B12. We want that in the methylated form. So this has methyl B12 in it. And then B6, it has B6 in the active form, P5P. Those are the three main cofactors that we need to run this system. There are actually quite a number of other ingredients in this product, but the main three that you need when you're dealing with having methylation issues is the cofactors to help you methylate. And those would again be the B6, B12, and then the premethylated folate. And that's what's in this product in a very, very high dose to help you overcome those mutations. And so what does this do for us? Well, again, it's really helping us detoxify. I can't change my genes, but this is where I can do to help me overcome those genes and help keep myself and my body continuing to methylate and continuing to detox and to have these cofactors available to me. So anybody with one mutation, um, you should at least be taking one of these a day if not potentially two. Again, that's where I'd work with a practitioner and maybe um, if you can do some sophisticated testing like an organics profile um, to see how you're actually functionally methylating. Um, if not, at least a homocysteine level should do that for you. If it's a seven or eight's the ideal spot, too high means you probably need more of this. Too low could mean you have too much or you don't have enough. So again, you'd want to work with a practitioner. If you have two mutations like me, you definitely want to be taking two of these a day. And I recommend taking it with meals, um, either breakfast or lunch. Sometimes these high B vitamins, when you uh, don't have any food in your system, can cause a little bit of nausea for some people. So I do recommend it. Now, those of you out there who are really familiar with methylation pathways and MTHFR, you're going to get angry if I don't mention that there are some people um, that have a mutation at the second spot that can't tolerate B vitamins. I personally find that to be a very, very, very small substrate of my population or of my patients. But again, methylation is way more complex than what I can cover in this video. The important part of this is as people are becoming more um, 
more aware of the mutation in MTHFR and people are getting things like 23andMe, they're more aware of their genetics. And so if you know that you have one or two mutations at MTHFR, I would recommend um, that you get on this supplement and you know take it lifelong. I mean, that, that's what's happening with me. The other final thing that I just want to say about this is um, about testing, and it's a little bit outside this video, but I just want to be complete here. If you checked my serum level of B12, it would be sky high because I take a lot of this. But what is, I can only use a tenth of what I put into my body because I have two mutations at MTHFR. So when I do functional testing on myself, like what I offer in my clinic, um, I see functionally that I have just the right amount of B vitamins. There have been times where I needed even more than taking just, you know, two of these a day. Again, you'd want to work with a practitioner on that. So testing B12 levels is actually not something I do in my clinic because if you're taking it, they should be elevated or they should be in normal range, but it doesn't mean that you can use it. So one size fits all definitely does not apply when it comes to B vitamins. As we went through that example, if you have no mutations at MTHFR, you can probably get away with a multivitamin and just what you're eating out there in the, in the world. I couldn't eat enough kale and broccoli and spinach to give me the folate that I need having two mutations at MTHFR. So this is where it really comes into play about individuality and supplements. So again, anybody with one or two mutations at MTHFR, this is your friend and who you'll be taking lifelong. All right, I hope this helped you. Thanks.